In 1983, I did radio tomography with 30 watts, looking for oil in the ground. I found 26 oil wells over a nine-state area, and 100% of the time was accurate, which is 30 watts of power beaming straight into solid rock. HARP uses a billion watts beam straight into the ionosphere for experiments. Picture these strings on the piano as layers of the earth. Each one has its own frequency. What we used to do is beam radio waves into the ground and it would vibrate any strings that were present in the ground. We might get a sound back like and we'd say that's natural gas. We might get a sound back like and we'd say that's crude oil. We were able to identify each frequency. We accomplished this with just 30 watts of radio power. If you do this with a billion watts, the vibrations are so violent that the entire piano would shake. In fact, the whole house would shake. In fact, the vibrations could be so severe underground that could even cause an earthquake.
The U.S. Patent Office granted a patent to a Houston-based scientist, Dr. Bernard Eastland, for an invention which, Dr. Eastland says, could be used to change the weather. Dr. Eastland says the invention could also be used to disrupt communications all over the world and might be used to destroy or deflect a missile attack. The Eastland patents had the ring of the mad scientist aspect of Tesla. Tesla talked about this Tesla shield around the planet and uh, talked about particle beam weaponry, something called a death ray. Death ray? Gene wasn't sure where all this was leading until Mr. X called again. And he said, the maniacs are actually going to do it up in Alaska. Under the guise of a nice little research project deep in the Alaskan bush called HARP. The uh, basic concept is to build a very large antenna, then to utilize a large amount of uh, power and uh, to beam those radio waves up into the upper atmosphere. Have you approached the Pentagon with this invention? Yes, and what I'm not at liberty to tell you is the details of what that interaction has been. The word spread through the Alaskan bush, and soon a band of suspicious Alaskans set out to warn people about what they saw as the U.S. military's secret agenda. HARP is a non-classified project run not by Bernard Eastland, but by the U.S. Army and Navy. So how would you describe this world of... E-Systems and Raytheon and Harp. Dark. 